time for that game, incidentally, is 9.05 p.m. Eastern Time. For the past 10 years, the Lowe's Senior Class Award has recognized great achievements by senior basketball players both on and off the court. It focuses on the four C's of classroom, community, character, and competition. Jim Nance has more. What America sees on national television are the spectacular abilities of these great players, the fierce competition, the dramatic finishes, the March Madness, and the spectacle that has become big-time college basketball. What they don't see is what many of these amazing student-athletes are doing off the court, using their platform as college basketball stars to make an impact on their campus and within their communities. The Lowe Senior Class Award is all about what's right with college athletics. There's story after story about how college student athletes are making lives better by reaching out in their communities. Lowe's is honored and proud to be a part of this award and would like to congratulate all of this year's finalists. Let's meet the 10 top seniors who are this year's finalists for the Lowe's Senior Class Award in men's college basketball. William Buford, one of Ohio State's all-time leading scorers. Ashton Gibbs, Pittsburgh's all-time leading three-point shooter. Draymond Green of Michigan State, the Big Ten Player of the Year. Belmont's Mick Hedgepep is a career 54% field goal shooter. Robbie Hummel of Purdue is a first-team All-Big Ten forward. William and Mary's Quinn McDowell scored 1,600 career points and pulled down 500 rebounds. Ronald Norad was a spark plug for Butler in the past two NCAA national title games. Zach Novak, a versatile player on Michigan's Big Ten regular season co-championship team. Zach Rosen, the University of Pennsylvania's all-time assist leader. And Tyler Zeller of North Carolina, an academic All-America and the ACC Player of the Year. Following a nationwide vote of college basketball coaches, media, and fans, the 2012 Lowe's Senior Class Award went to Robbie Hummel of Purdue University in a special ceremony yesterday. A management major with a 3.0 plus grade point average, Hummel frequently takes part in trips to local elementary schools and preschools to read to students in an effort to promote literacy. He and his teammates have also volunteered at a public lunch program for disadvantaged youth in Lafayette and conducted skills clinics for the Special Olympics in Indianapolis. Robbie, congratulations, this magnificent award. That's tremendous. All your on-court feats we know about, but to see the recognition for what you've done off the court has to be extra gratifying. For sure. And I think uh, all 10 candidates were, were very deserving of, uh, of this award. Um, there's been a lot of hard work that's gone into it, um, a, lot of, a lot of time, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's been frustrating at times, but uh, I think it's definitely paying off here. Coach Painter, what has he meant to the program and to the community? Oh, he, he's been great. You know, he, he's a guy that, you know, shows up early, stays late. He's worked very hard um, to help Purdue be successful. But he, he's a guy that is a great student. He's a great person. Um, and he showed up on campus that way. Well, thanks, Coach. Congratulations again, Robbie. Thank you. Well done. Big time award. Thank you. Certainly a fitting tribute to the collegiate career of Robbie Hummel, dazzling us on the court impacting lives off the court, making us all proud to be associated with the great game of college basketball.